Uh, welcome to a new video. In this video I want to talk about a cool new feature in Plasma 524. Plasma 524 is currently in beta so you can try it out on your favorite Linux distribution if packages are available. Otherwise you can also download a live system to just try it out and report bugs of course. So this new feature is the, called the overview effect and you can find it under the workspace behavior desktop effects. If you scroll down to window management, here you can see the overview plugin. The overview plugin allows you to yeah, get an overview of all running applications on your current virtual desktop. And it gives you an overview of virtual desktops and applications. So something similar to the overview effect that you get on a GNOME desktop, for example. So this is pretty cool and awesome. You can also configure this one and in the options here you can set up the layout mode, how the windows should be organized. By default it sets to natural and you can also set it to closest if you want to. If you have an older computer that doesn't have so much graphics power you can disable the blurry background otherwise it's enabled by default. And of course you have to know how to activate this overview effect. By default it's the meta and w key Meta is not Facebook here or X Facebook. No, it's the key that is also referred to as super key, as Windows key or as command N key on Apple keyboards. So by default it's Meta W. You can change it to whatever you like to under the global alternative if you want to set up something differently or you can even change it here. So let's go and jump into the overview. So we press the super key or Meta key and W and we go into this overview plugin. This is how it looks like. You can see it looks pretty similar to what GNOME offers or even Mac OS in its um, overview mode offers for virtual desktops and switching. And you can see all my windows here nicely organized. So I have my system settings here. I have my recorder for uh, the yeah, desktop recording session and I have a console here where I executed the system settings uh, in. And I have various different other workspaces here. My system local is German, so they're called Arbeitsfläche 1, 2, 3 and 4. And uh, yeah, we have a search here as well. This search can be used for various different things. Can be used for very, it's basically like a K-runner search and it's very powerful. But let's talk about the uh, workspaces. First of all, you can see when I hover over the workspace, I get like a trash icon to delete the virtual workspace. So I can delete a virtual workspace, but I can also create a new virtual workspace just by yeah, adding a new desktop. I wonder if I can just drag one of those windows to the virtual desktops? Probably. So let's drag this one to uh, the workspace one. Yes. So it's now workspace one. If I go to workspace one, it will go to workspace one. I press W, uh, super key W again, see all my windows and here I can see my system settings as well. What happens if I drag it to plus? I think it's creating, yes, it's creating new workspace and I can go to this workspace and have my window then there. So pretty cool and awesome to have such an effect and uh, yeah, very interesting indeed. So let's talk about the search. So in this overview, you have the search option, like a mini version of KRunner, and you can search for programs. For example, I can search for VLC and get now the option to yeah, start the VLC media player. But I can also search for documents, just like, for example, uh, manual.pdf, and uh, I will get some documents as well. I'll just search for manual here, for example, user manual. I got like a document here, virtual box. And I can just open it. I can open up the folder if I want to. So this is all possible. Did I mention it's a beta version? And you can, of course, search uh, not only stuff. You can also do like calculations. Like I want to know what is this uh, times this. And it will calculate me the number here, as you can see. But I can also do uh, number conversions. Um, just like, for example, if my American friends are talking about ounces, I don't know how what ounces are. So 800 ounces in a value that I know in kilograms, for example, and I know, okay, it's 22 kilograms roughly. Mm. The same I can do also with uh, not only those values, but also 
like numbers like for example i know a new huawei phone is coming out costs uh, 9999 rmb what is this in in euros it's not called actually rmb it's called this one here and i know okay it's roughly 1389 euros so such things are very helpful and useful and it's basically what k runner also provides to you as well and yeah very good that we have this now in an overview here and very similar to the way gnome works with its overview and also macOS works though you don't have like the yeah, option to search for stuff uh, the search is also concluding windows <laughs> But it's not showing them in a way where you have like different filters like if i'm on a desktop uh, let's go to desktop here and i press the use the desktop effects for all the windows to show all the windows of all various different desktops and i can just type in dolphin and it bring Dolph, Dolph, uh, brings dolphin up this would be also pretty cool if yeah, this could be combined somehow with uh, this search this search will also probably show yeah there's dolphin running on my workspace one i can switch to it and i'm now at dolphin here which is also pretty cool and i get like all my things here so the overview desktop effects i think is pretty cool pretty cool to work with and uh, what do you think about this cool new feature of plasma 524 you can write down in the comment section what do you think about this what improvements would you do here maybe we can see in 525 some improvements on the plasma overview and have you tried it out did you notice any bugs just write it on the comment section this is basically everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye